You won't believe my wife's reaction to this gigantic bubbling cauldron. I started by printing out a cauldron shape, drawing two legs, and then cutting the shape from heavy cardstock. Next, I shined a light onto the cauldron and projected its shadow onto a one-inch foam insulation sheet. I traced the cauldron onto the foam sheet. My favorite way to cut foam is with my 20-volt jigsaw and a smooth blade I make by filing down a standard tooth blade and then running it through a knife sharpener. Next, I trace the big cauldron onto a sheet of 2-inch foam and use my jigsaw to cut another copy. I use my circular saw to cut two leg stands from a cedar fence board. I traced the placement of the legs onto the 2-inch foam and excavated a channel with a utility knife, a chisel, and my shop vac. After squeezing in some construction adhesive, I placed the cedar legs into their channels. To mate the two halves, I sprayed both with adhesive and then fought with the wind to marry them, and then I painted the cauldron with two coats of exterior black. I added strip lights around the back of the cauldron and some on the front, and then I used my hot glue gun to attach green and iridescent ornaments over the front lights and along the top. Now you can look. Tag your favorite witch who'd love a cauldron like this and follow us for more.